At this craft beer fest, the allure is not just the taste, it's also the ideal. Thank you very much. All local ingredients. Yeah, and you're supporting local, like, local communities and local vendors. But are they? Alongside a multitude of microbreweries here are Mill Street, owned by Labatt, Creamore, owned by Molson Coors, and Lagunitas, owned by Dutch giant Heineken. Yet the brands of those multinational corporate owners are nowhere in sight. It's not transparent. It's very, very difficult. Brewer Jason Fisher says big companies now own dozens of craft breweries, but play down their corporate connection to appeal to the craft consumer. You have to now wade through all kinds of cans before you can really tell, is it made where it says it's made? Is it really independent? Is my dollar going to a corporation in South America or a guy on a farm in Ontario? In fact, the term craft beer has become so watered down, the U.S. Association for Small Brewers has come out with a new seal, focusing instead on the word independent. The big breweries are pushing, pushing, pushing and saying, like, we're craft now. Um, that brewers now have to redefine themselves again. The independent brewers are also complaining about other tactics employed by their big corporate competitors. The world's largest beer company, which owns Budweiser and Labatt, recently cut off craft brewers from a small but prized hop supply, citing low yield. Anheuser-Busch InBev also reportedly offered incentives to distributors that some say would make it harder for small brewers to get their products to market. And it quietly bought a minority stake in a popular online beer rating site where there are reviews of its own products. Back at the festival, organizers say the fact some beer here is now corporate doesn't mean it's not craft. They're still making the same beer, still the same brewmaster, it's still the same building, they're still using spring water, it's still the same people that worked there over 10 years ago. But for some beer drinkers, it's just not quite the same. Actually, I, was, I still support for a small brewery. That is, when he can tell who they are. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.